Hello, and thank you for joining me for getting started with the library part three, requesting materials from other institutions. In this video, I will show you how to request materials from libraries in the SUNY Libraries Consortium and two ways to request materials from Interlibrary Loan. So we will begin from the library homepage, which you can navigate to by going to herrick.alfred.edu. And from here, uh, we will begin our search. I'm going to click on Go to Advanced Search, and I'm going to search for a specific book to see if we have it in our library collection. I'm going to search for the specific book by title, and I'm going to search for material type and books slash ebooks uh, because I don't want any articles with the same title. I just want this specific book. Go ahead and click search, scroll down, and it looks like there are no records found. So the first step that I will take to try to locate this book is I will shift where I am searching. Up here at the top, I have selected everything right now. But if I go ahead and shift it over to search for this specifically in the SUNY catalog, this will search for the book in all of the libraries in the SUNY Library Consortium of which we are a member. When I click search, I scroll down, I see that the book shows up. Now this means that the book is held by one of our partner institutions and I may be able to request it from them. At this point, I'll go ahead and click on the title of the book and I can see all the basic information, verify that this is the book that I am interested in. It is indeed. Now, at this point, if you haven't already, you should go ahead and sign in. When you click sign in, you'll just use the same username and password that you use to log into your email, everything before the at. Now that we've logged in, we can go ahead and request this book. Uh, to request the book, you'll click request from another library. You'll select your pickup location, whether you want to pick it up at Herrick or Scholes. Uh, you can leave a comment if you would like, and then when you click send request, we will uh, contact libraries in the consortium, and we should receive the book shortly, at which point you will receive an email that the book is ready for you to pick it up. Now let's say I'm looking for a specific article. I've come back to the Primo Advanced Search page. And from here, I'm going to copy over a specific title that I'm looking for for an article. Let's say that I found this citation and a reference sheet, and I haven't been able to locate the article yet. I'm going to go ahead and do a specific title search uh, for the exact title as it appeared in the citation. And again, I'm searching everything here uh, as, as I'm logged in uh, to see if it is available through our library. When I do the search, I see that one result shows up. And when I click on this result, it appears that it is not currently available from our library, but we do have options to obtain it through interlibrary loan. Now, I do want to double check that this is the article that I want, so I can verify the information by looking at the brief preview of the, of the article up above, or by scrolling down and reading a full uh, abstract or description. After verifying that this is indeed the article that I'm interested in, I can go ahead and request it through Interlibrary Loan by clicking on Herrick or Schools. It just depends on which library is your primary uh, library that you use. For me, that will be Herrick. I'll go ahead and click on this. And at this point, it will prompt me to log into Interlibrary Loan. If you haven't already logged in before, it will walk you through some basic steps to get your account set up. At this point, you want to enter your username and your password. Same thing that you use to log into your email, just everything that you use before the at sign. And when you click log in, it will auto-generate the information. Uh, this information should be correct, but it is helpful to verify that. So after double checking to make sure that all of this information appears correctly, I can go ahead and click submit request. After clicking Submit Request, you will see that it is an outstanding request, and you will receive an email when the material is ready. If the material will arrive in an electronic format, then we will email you and you will access it from this page, or it will arrive in a physical format and you will receive an email that it is ready to be picked up. 
Um, now I'd like to show you a second way to request material through Interlibrary Loan. From the library homepage, which again you can get to by going to herrick.alfred.edu, you can go ahead and go de scroll down to Quick Links and click on Interlibrary Loan Login. Again, you'll want to go ahead and log in here. And after logging in, you see all of your outstanding requests. You can access all electronically received requests on the side here, or you can place a new request. To place a new request, look at whether you want to request an article, a book, movie, or CD, a book chapter, or a thesis or dissertation. Let's say I'm looking for an article. At this point, it will bring up all of these blank fields, which you can fill in from a citation that you may have. Be sure to fill in each area that has an asterisk, meaning that it is required, and any additional information that you have will be extremely helpful. When you click Submit Request, it will let us know that you're interested in this material, and we'll go ahead and try to get it for you as quickly as possible. Uh, thank you so much. If you do have any questions, please feel free to contact us by emailing us at libraries at alfred.edu. Have a great day.